Meet the Nigerian actress who is also a pastor and a doctorate holder. She is an example of a strong-willed woman that can withstand fate's trials to reach a higher level of more development. So in this video, I'm going to be revealing so much about Ukeri Anunobi, the popular Nigerian actress who is known for her acting in movie roles. So if you are new to our channel, please ensure to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button and also don't forget to bell the notification bell for more updates whenever we push new videos. You can follow us at Ejimuzi, E-J-I-M-U-Z-Y on Instagram. So without further ado, let me eat you first. <laughs> Ikeria Anunobi was born on the 25th of May 1965 and she is currently 66 years old as of 2021. She was born to the family of Mr. and Mrs. Felix Anunobi in Howeri Himo State, Nigeria. While growing up, she spoke about the difficulties she faced as a child, revealing that her father refused to send her to school. She said despite his wealth, he refused to pay for her education since he believed that it was pointless to send a kid girl to school. She did say, however, that regardless of her circumstances, she worked hard to guarantee that her father's name was imprinted on the globe map and that God's grace saw her through. I'm still a hero of God. He changes destiny in a twinkle of an eye. He's a rule breaker and he doesn't need anyone's permission to bless another. Just look at this girl whose rich father refused to train her after high school, that he had no need for a girl child, that he rather concentrate and train the male children to any level of education that they desire. This girl struggled all by herself and is a model, a former beauty queen, a famous superstar actress, a preacher. Right now, this girl is a PhD holder in a Christian education and ministerial arts. She reviewed this on her page on Instagram. I'm that girl by the name Apostle Dr. Uchiria Akua Nunobi. However, she studied in Oweri, Imo State, Nigeria, in the Southern Eastern region for her primary and secondary school education. After finishing her high school education, she enrolled at the Institute of Management and Technology, IMT, in Enugu State. She got a national diploma, ONM, in mass communication. Later, she enrolled in the University of Nigeria, Unsuka, in Enugu State, after which she graduated with a bachelor's degree in English language. She is very talented, skillful, entertaining, and knows how to interpret roles given to her very, very well. She can work with any director or producer, even at any time, given any role to play. The film producer joined Nollywood after completing her education. She landed her first role in the film Glamour Girls and immediately rose to fame. She continued staring in other notable Nollywood movies. Immediately she got into Nollywood, every of the movies she started acting in was always a block star. And um, she's really, really glad for that. And in 2003, she steered in the Nigerian block star movie Abuja Connection. The role fueled her into becoming a public figure. She won an award for the best actress in a leading role at the Africans Movie Academic Award. She has starred in various other movies such as Small Chills in 2020, The Foreigners God 2018, Breaking Hearts 2009, Heavy Storm, Desire, Final Tuzzle, My Darling Princess, Black Knight in South America, Area Mama and so many other movies that you can mention. She has featured in over 200 movies and still acting and has been regarded as one of the actresses who really went through a lot in life. Currently, she's single, but she was formerly married to a London-based actor called Charles Uku in December 2004. And nine years later, they got divorced. The actress said that their marriage had to break due to betrayal with the housemaid and lack of parental responsibility. But during their marriage, the two of them had a child together who was 15 years old before the child died. 
due to sickle cell anemia. Some time ago, she lost her son to the cold hands of death. She has not stopped her undying maternal love for her boy. In a chat with Saturday's Beat, the actress explained why she decided to celebrate her son post Umo's birthday with the motherless babies and why she decided to give some of his personal effects to young inmates at a special correctional center for boys. She said, I have not removed my morning clothes, neither have I opened my ear since the death of my son. I have always been wearing white since his demise, and the reason I have maintained this is because my son was a good boy to me, but he was mistakenly killed by the doctor. She revealed, my son was not supposed to die. He was a wonderful child. I decided to honor him by marking his 16th birthday then, the way we normally do. During our birthdays, we usually visited the motherless babies and showed them love by donating some clothes and food to them. This year, we will not be any different from what we have been doing previously. I'm going to do it the way my son and I always have done it, and I will give out some of his personal effects. She said, it is not possible to lose your only child, and um, the trauma will not be there. There is a scar that will always be there. I don't even know if I have the strength. People only tell me that I have the strength, but all I know is that I'm very fragile and weak. Forget the powder and lipstick. It's just a cover-up. It's been days and nights of tears. In the four years of time, I will adopt a child in God's time. Although I still have people that stay with me and have been caring enough before he died, I will still miss him so much, especially when I have to drive home and remember that he is no more. He used to give me a warm welcome whenever I'm not at home. Currently, she's a single lady who devotes herself to missionary work as an evangelist in Egbeda, Lagos State. On February 5, 2012, she was officially ordained as a pastor by Pastor Sam Okwe at the Fresh Oil Ministry International. She said that she could still act in such films like Glamour Girls, Whatever Happened in Her Life, Ucheria still looks terrific and help other people to build their life. She also graduated from the School of Disciples at the Redeemed Christian Church of God, where she obtained a degree, which she said, if you keep looking at the mountain, it will become overwhelming. Go to the base and start climbing. Don't look down and don't look up. Just keep at it. Before you know it, you are at the top. If I could finish my exams while burying my son, what is stopping you from completing your studies? Also, she was also given the Doctor of Philosophy, PhD in Christian Education and Ministerial Acts with right honors and privilege, in testimony thereof and by virtues of the authority vested in those boards, she, which was signed on May 30, 2021. According to her, the feat was made possible by her determination to embrace the rigors of, of academics. This is not an award, it's a degree that I labored for. That gave me sleepless nights, countless hours of reading and studying. I also had to face an academic panel. So, combining all that she has, she's estimated to be over $400,000. So, what are your thoughts about her? What are your thoughts about this woman who is strong will and a very, very strong woman? What are your thoughts about her? Comment in the comment section. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to bell the notification button for more of the channel. I will post new videos. You can check out other related videos using the description link below. Also, you can follow us at Ejimuzi, E-J-I-M-O-Z-Y, on Instagram and Favor Priest.